and we absolutely wrote a Snow White. That she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. If you talk shit, it's going to come back. There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries, and all of a sudden, you show up, and we have to... People would stop sending me death threats. Right. Every time that a celebrity gets, like, one DM that says KYS, they're like, I'm getting death threats! <laughs> Someone say- I never want it to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have. I can also be having the greatest time and simultaneously wishing people would stop sending me death threats. In a stunning turn of events, the entertainment industry is once again rocked by revelations, this time involving rising star Rachel Ziegler. Known for her captivating performances and promising career, Ziegler finds herself at the center of a storm after an unexpected and controversial incident that has left her reeling. Big focus on her love story with a guy literally stalking her. How weird. Just as Hollywood was beginning to embrace her as the next big thing, Ziegler's world has taken a tumultuous turn, leaving her grappling with the aftermath of what many are calling the woke Disney scandal. The incident has not only jeopardized her professional standing, but has also cast a shadow over her personal life. As the details continue to emerge, Zegler is now navigating uncharted waters, facing an uphill battle to salvage her reputation and rebuild her career from the ground up. Snow White is being rehashed for a 2024 release with 22-year-old Rachel Zegler playing the titular role alongside Gal Gadot as the movie's antagonist. However, Zegler has come under fire after social media users shared snippets from a number of interviews in which she hits out at the original Disney classic. In several interviews, Zegler has branded the prince a stalker and has insisted the reimagining of Snow White won't be a love story, but focus on the character's desires to be a strong leader. A number of TikTok users have shared the clips online, including one interview snippet with Variety in which Zegler insisted that it was no longer 1937. So in her version of the Snow White, she's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. The actress further went on to say that she believes her version of Snow White to be one that is dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Another clip that has gone viral of Zegler includes her talking to Extra TV at the Disney D23 Expo in 2022, where she is clearly poking fun at the 1937 version of the beloved cartoon, quipping about the fact that the main focus of that story was a love story. She even went as far as to suggest that Snow White's love interest, the prince, was actually a stalker, inferring that the original film was glorifying that kind of behavior. So we didn't do that this time, she added. We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because we cast a guy in the movie. The man tasked with playing the male protagonist in the film is Andrew Burnap. Although Zegler told Extra TV, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. Zegler has also been accused of hypocrisy after stating she was scared of the original version of the film, only to be quoted elsewhere saying she's a Disney super fan. She also told talk show host Jimmy Fallon she'd often go on the Snow White ride at Disney World, despite in another interview saying she was terrified of the attraction and its themes. All of this has backfired on her as fans of the original Snow White are outraged at her views and how she is undermining an animated movie that millions hold very dear. Zegler's hypocrisy and utter disrespect has been slammed by a number of users on Twitter as well, with several reacting in the past few days to the actor's resurfaced remarks. One Twitter user weighed into the discussion, Rachel Zegler is single-handedly destroying this movie. My TikTok feed is full of PPL on all sides, posting about her holier-than-thou crappy attitude is not okay, and Snow doesn't need to be modern. It's impressive how many people she's turned against seeing Snow White. Bravo. A second argued, the fact that everyone is so unhappy with Rachel Zegler and Snow White shows how everyone, not just conservatives, is done with the strong female lead trope. It's overdone and the girls are tired of it. Meanwhile, a third added, Rachel Zegler, aka Snow Woke, is one of the most smug new arrivals in Hollywood. She calls the original Snow White Prince a stalker. Has she even watched the original movies? 
Other users simply called for her new movie to be downright boycotted, writing, don't ever, ever go to the cinema to watch Snow White 2024. Don't support Rachel Zegler. The same user made a very valid point when they said this. Let's get one thing straight. Adriana Casalotti walked so that you could run Miss Ma'am. This role would not exist for you if that role had not existed for her in 1937. You are talking. Some fans expressed their betrayal and shed light on how much of a villain Ziegler had made of herself, saying, Rachel Ziegler is so unlikable and people are taking notice. Another fan shared a similar sentiment. I know, it's kind of impressive how she is literally driving people away. Where are her handlers at all? If all of this wasn't enough to make Ziegler panic, the fact that even her fellow celebrity colleagues are against her now and seem to dislike her is a serious cause for concern. Even Patrick Bet David has slammed her for her stance, saying, If you talk shit, it's gonna come back. There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, Yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries, and all of a sudden you show up and. Hell, even Jenna Ortega doesn't seem too impressed with her. I feel like the, the characters or, or um, representatives that you're seeing of, of, of yourself on screen yeah. are relatable or attainable. So it's totally. hard to develop some sort of. Yeah. Um, ad Picture this. A glittering era, back in 1937, when the silver screen was graced by the enchanting presence of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the film that not only marked the birth of Disney's animated empire, but also rewrote the rules of cinematic history. Walt Disney, the visionary mastermind behind the magic, defied the naysayers who scoffed at the audacious idea of a full-length animated feature. They laughed, they doubted, but Disney dared to dream big. And let me tell you, this wasn't just any animated flick. It was the first ever cell animated feature in the history of cinema. A breathtaking leap that not only flipped the animation industry on its head, but laid the very foundation for the empire we now know as Disney. Think about it. In an era when films were dominated by live action, Disney plunged headfirst into uncharted waters. Imagine the boldness, but oh, what a payoff it was. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs became the silver screen's crown jewel, captivating hearts across the globe. Audiences were spellbound by its breathtaking animation, unforgettable characters, and melodies that transported them to a fairy tale realm. Hold on to your tiaras because that's not all. Snow White wasn't just a movie, it was the birth of a phenomenon known as the Disney Princess. Snow White herself paved the royal road for generations of iconic princesses, each with her own aspirations and obstacles to conquer. It was a formula that cast its spell on the world and became a touchstone of pop culture. But let's fast forward to today, where Rachel Zegler, the new Snow White, has sparked a frenzy with her eyebrow-raising comments about the original film. Hold your breath, because this is where things get juicy. Ziegler's remarks have ignited a fiery debate, and some fans are crying foul. Can you believe it? It's like challenging the very essence of a fairy tale. The legacy of Walt and Roy Disney, those fearless trailblazers, is nothing short of legendary. They risked it all, from their careers to their homes to bring their dream to life. Their audacity and unshakable conviction revolutionized entertainment as we know it. Now, before you grab your pitchforks, consider this. Rachel Ziegler's comments might be a reflection of a misunderstanding about the sheer magnitude of creating that milestone. Sure, her words have stirred the pot, but they've also reminded us of the delicate tapestry of history that makes these classics so special. This is exactly why it isn't far-fetched to say that Ziegler has not only ruined her own career, but may have brought down Disney Studios with her. Rachel Ziegler's comments about the upcoming live-action Snow White remake could have a huge impact on ticket sales, branding experts have warned. The big-budget Disney movie is scheduled for release in March 2024, and now it has been predicted that executives will be having crisis talks in order to do some serious damage limitation following the negative response to Rachel's stance. As well as being labeled a fake feminist, some critics accused Rachel of gaslighting, and one marketing consultant has warned that Disney will need to be careful with how they have portrayed Snow White. Speaking to media outlets, branding expert Carla Spite said, Whilst it's been clear that the original Disney princess films hold old values, Disney have fallen for the trap of going to the opposite extreme to inflict strong and loaded messaging on the viewers, believing that's empowerment. There was a time when Disney actors were media trained and were thoughtful about the impact of their words while sticking to key messaging about the films, but it seems with this total rewrite of Snow White, picturing her as a boss girl has gone to the heads of their stars. 
As the aftermath unfolds, it's evident that Rachel Ziegler's recent foray into controversial territory has stirred up quite a storm. Her woke comments have thrown her career into uncertain waters, raising concerns about the repercussions not only for her, but also for the larger entertainment landscape. With potential ramifications for Disney and the future of the movie in question, the path ahead remains shrouded in uncertainty. That's all for the video, guys. Thanks for watching.